Hey YouTube, today's video is me explaining how we have our dust collection system set up. Um, in a previous video, I showed me just kind of building, I built the dust collection system and then I kind of used it, but we never actually, um, you know, connected it permanently. We just had, matter of fact, we had that hose right there and we were just kind of dragging it around to each of the machines or each of the saws or planer or whatever that we were using. And we would just set the hose up and use it like that. Um, we needed a more permanent solution. And I'm kind of going to just go over how we did it and why we did certain things we did. Um, I made a really detailed video. You know, you guys have seen my videos. You know that I always record me actually installing things and doing things. And I made a really detailed video and explained everything. I had all the fittings I showed you, all the tools I was using and all this type of stuff. But uh, unfortunately, our hard drive crashed and I lost it. I was actually in the middle of exporting the video and I heard doo doo doo, like a USB had been connected. And I was like, oh, that's not good. You know, it's really not good to hear that sound in the middle of transferring data. I go up and the hard drive cannot be recognized anymore. And it's not the cable. We tried everything you could think of, calling support, long story short, they say, yeah, your drop's done. You need to get another one. And uh, unfortunately, that thing was less than a year and a half old, so. I'm not going to mention brands, but we're not getting that one ever again. That's for sure. Um, but anyways, that's, that's where we're at. And that's why this video is going to be like it is today. Um, my wife, uh, Simply Sally, in her comments, someone had asked about it, about how we set it up and all this type of stuff. So that's what this video is going to be. It's just going to be me explaining it. Um, unfortunately, it's already done and I'm not going to take it all back down. That would be way too much work. But uh, let's get into the details. So there's the dust collector. It's got a lot of stuff in it. You can see we've been using it a good bit. Um, I use flex hose for this. If you are going to be installing a dust collection system and you have a huge area, I mean like more than, this This was ended up only being like 40 something feet of hose total. And that's going down to this and coming over here and going down and back to the table saw and all that. If you have a massive dust collection system, like with hundreds of feet, um, or you have a really weak dust, collect dust collection system, which this is not the strongest, but it's not the weakest either, um, I would recommend going with solid pipe and only using flex hose when necessary, like connecting to whatever, you know, connected to your tool and all this. Um, the reason being, flexible hose has a lot of friction because it's not smooth. There's a lot of, you know, indentions and all that for airflow to get um, kind of restricted or held up whatever um, the reason I use flex hose is because it was way cheaper um, I was originally gonna go with solid pipe kind of like solid piece of pipe there 90 over here 90 down there and you know kind of flex hose right there the reason I didn't is because our local hardware stores did not have it and I went to like a local plumbing supply store and the price was way way high um this i got a 50 feet of hose and i have some left over and i think i spent like it was on sale on amazon it was like 70 dollars maybe we get the five percent off because we have the amazon gift card or credit card not gift card i wish we had lots of gift cards that'd be nice but uh, we get five percent off of that so you know that helps um so i use flexible hose and to hang it I just use this uh, this strap material. You can it comes in huge rolls. You can get 100 feet rolls of it, 100 foot rolls, whatever you say, feet foot. You know what I mean? Um, it's just called hanger strap, I think. Pipe pipe hanging strap. They use it for hanging pipes under houses and hanging pipes on various things and condensation, you know, lines for your um, air conditioning unit. There's all kinds of things for it. Anyways, I use that for this. Um, at first I was kind of like, man, that's going to be sharp, but it goes, these are metal bands. Each one of these is a metal band, right? So this kind of goes around that nice. See? So I'm, I'm not really worried about it cutting it. Um, and this stuff, it says puncture proof and all of that. You can stab it with a knife. This is really tough stuff. Okay, it's really durable, really strong. Um, but anyways, that's what I did with that. I, that's why I use flexible hoses, pretty much the cost. Yeah, it's better to use solid if you can. Um, that kind of wasn't an option for me, and I didn't want to spend that much money. Not that much money. Um, and another thing I want to explain, I used a, a Y connector. You want to use Ys if possible, other than Ts. I, I use the T down here. 
um, not that big of a deal <clears throat> but as you can see the material is going that way right and the material from here is going up that way see the it's just a smooth transition um, with a T it's like it's got to go and hit a wall and go this way which it probably doesn't slam out and hit that wall well actually from this plane it probably does because this thing shoots a lot of material out really fast with a lot of power behind it but um that Y is just a smoother transition if you can at all use Y's over T's that's the way to go um so that knocks that out of the way another thing that I want to explain you need a blast gate this is called a blast gate you need one of these on every piece or every tool that you run to because like let's for example if I'm not using this this needs to be closed because if I had that open and then I open the one to my planer right there and then I open the one to my table saw I use a lot I lose a lot of airflow or suction power if you will um, if I close all those gates off you get a I mean you get a massive vacuum on it if you leave them all open you, I mean it's noticeable okay and if you had a lot of tools connected, I mean, you could possibly lose all your vacuum, I would imagine. You'd have very little. Um, so you need to put a blast gate on every one of your tools. So like I said, I have one there. I have one right there. And I have one for the table saw right there. Um, I showed reducers and things like that. Uh, here I didn't need a reducer. You can This thing, like I said, it shoots a lot of, a lot of material out. So um, it's, just, it's got a huge port. So I just wrapped the hose around that and clamped it. Um, oh yeah, and that's another thing about plenty of clamps. You're gonna need lots of them for this stuff. Okay um, Over there. I had to use a reducer that black hose is um pretty much like a shop back shop back hose and I didn't have I ordered the clamps like the uh, hose clamps that was this size but unfortunately our delivery driver lost them or whatever so they didn't come so what I did was this you see there's a self-tapping screw right there so what i did i just jammed the fitting in there and put a self-tapping screw to hold it and this actually had a barb on it like you know what a barb is if you don't google it like a barbed fitting and this hose actually goes over and clamps it in so you, it's difficult to pull this back off you can't even if you want to did the same thing for that right there i put a screw in it to hold that um everything works really well the only issue I had, and I mentioned that in the video I made that got lost because the hard drive failure thing, is um, this T. This puts out a lot of material, okay? And it, it's a lot of power. So it actually comes up and hits that and kind of bounces back a little bit. Even with this on, you know, this needs to be on anytime you're doing anything, any kind of cutting or whatever. But, um, what I'm getting at is it blows a lot of material back and kind of blocks it off. So I have to unfortunately leave both of those open. I think if I had a Y there, it probably would be less of a problem. But I, it's not that big of a deal to me because all I have to do is literally, once this thing's finished up being used, I can just tap it a couple times and it'll get all the material out. Um, I'm trying to think of anything I'm leaving out. I did a lot of more a lot more explaining as I was doing things because I was able to show you the fittings and all of that type of stuff and actually me hanging up. I I mounted this stuff on studs. I, use, I have a stud finder that I use to actually hit studs with all of the screws because this stuff's not heavy, but you don't want to just put a screw in drywall, you know, because drywall is not that strong. Not as strong as a stud anyway. But that's what I used. Hopefully this video was informative. The other one was way more informative, <laughs> like a lot more in depth and details, but fortunately we lost it. With this, this is something I was gonna show you. This is, um, this is for table saws, okay? It came with a kit that we got from Harbor Freight. It was separate kit from the dust collector. Um, I just kind of stuck this there, I don't think, somebody that was using this saw was using this dust collector because that should not have been there it sucks most of the dust up what i've seen online and what i'm planning on doing i just haven't had time to do that yet because i did this yesterday i think it was yesterday no it was the day before yesterday i don't know it's been really busy but um a lot of people build like a shroud yeah 
look, go Google it. Google like dust collection for miter saw. You, you can connect a hose to that, but it only gets what's coming out of that. A lot of the dust actually, you know, when you're cutting, it blows all around the sides and comes out all over. You can see all that sawdust. The front here, there, here's some pieces. Okay. And what they do, they build kind of like a shroud around it. Like, a, not not this little, obviously, but just kind of an example. They build something kind of that goes out to here and kind of goes there and kind of goes up and around it. So, it, you know, your dust collection system is pulling air. And if you have the shroud around it, it will actually kind of route the air. So you have a suction going on, right? So then when you go to cut, most of this, it's not going to get all of it, okay? But it's going to get a lot of it. And so as you're cutting, most of this dust will kind of hit that channel and suck up in there and go to your bag rather than just blow all over the place. Um, this is kind of a temporary thing until I figure something out with that. But this does get a lot of our dust. It keeps it down a lot. And it's also kind of nice too because yeah, we, we're sanding right here. We sand a lot of stuff like these little one by twos, for example. And I can actually turn that on and stand here and sand and it, you can actually see the dust blowing over there. This thing has a dust collection bag on it. It works pretty good, but it doesn't get everything. Um, but yeah, me standing here sanding, you can see the dust being pulled over there. And you can get this, by the way, this hanging material. Just go to the plumbing section because that's the one, and it comes in like a little cardboard box. Uh, I don't have it with me, but it comes in a cardboard box, and it's just a huge roll of this, like 100 feet. They have different lengths of it, 25 feet, I think, and but whatever. Um, but this works really well for that. And this flexible hose, um, I don't see this being a problem. I don't see this getting holes in it from that. Um, one thing I do like about the flexible hose is it's clear. Um, that's not that's not a clog or anything. That's just uh some that got sucked right before the clamp but you can see my point is you can see if you ever get a clog for whatever reason you can see where it is and not only that but you can shake the hose and get it out versus if you did use solid piping and you had a clog um that that requires probably disassembling and running a rod or something and then busting it up but um i hope this uh was kind of informative I know it's not as informative as the ones where you get to watch me actually do everything. I wish it was. Oh, it's frustrating, but hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit. The reason I made this video is because uh, someone in the comments was simply Sally video she made. They were kind of asking about it. Oh, and another thing. Oh, this is nice too. This, uh, this table saw has a dust port on it, right? A lot of table saws don't have that. And it, when you're cutting, you can get um, this attachment right here. We, we can't use this attachment much because we do a lot of rips that is really close to the blade. And you can't really do that with this. Um, you got to have a bigger gap. And this thing's just kind of in the way for a lot of stuff we do. But it does have a, an attachment. We can collect, connect the dust collection system on top. That's really nice because the way that I have it set up now, with that one in the bottom, it gets a lot of dust because if that if that hose wasn't on there, it literally shoots a solid bead of sawdust all the way back to that machine way back there. So that gets all of that. But without that piece that I'm showing you here, um, a lot of the sawdust actually comes up and it's not like a lot of fine dust. That would get that if we had that on there, but unfortunately we don't use it. We just use this, uh, I think it's called a riving blade writhing reading i don't know you know what i'm talking about this thing right here and what this does is it keeps the board straight and keeps it when you're cutting from binding up on the blade and causing kickback and all that it's better to use this when at all possible but for our application it's not really it's more of a hassle than anything if you know what i mean um but yeah that would work better so if you ever see us cutting with, with this table saw See a lot of dust coming off of it. It's because we don't have that connected. Um, it would do a lot better job if we had it connected. I just want to throw that out, throw that out there in case you've seen us cutting with a dust collection system and you're saying, well, that thing's not really working that good. Well, that's why. Um, but anyways, hope this was, oh, also, in case you're wondering about all these wires, I ran out of wire staples and they're supposed to be here today. These wire staples right here. I'm actually gonna staple all this up really nice and make it look good. Just haven't got to it yet. 
hope this video was informative um if i didn't cover everything ask me a question in the comments and i will respond with the answer hopefully or some form of help thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it i know this is not like my normal video again i'm sorry crashed hard drive but thanks for watching i appreciate you taking the time have a good one